What's up everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can display custom images on your ePaper display. Unfortunately, no face cam today, but you know, you can grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright, so now that we're talking about getting custom images into our display, uh, there's two ways to do this. The first method is going to be that you edit the example sketch that is included with the libraries. And the second method is you write your own sketch, which is a more simplified version with the drivers. And then uh, you just you run either the example sketch or the one you made on your own and you get the custom image on there. It's that simple. So to show you what that looks like, we're going to head into the libraries. So for me, it's going to be projects and then ePaper, ePaper one more time, Raspberry Pi, Python, and examples. Once we're in there, we're going to list by doing LS and you can see all the examples uh, come up. Now, the one we're interested in is ePaper display 2.13 inch version three because that's the one I used in the previous video. So that's the one that we're going to use in this video. So in order to see what that sketch looks like, we do sudo nano ePaper display two inch 13 version three dot test dot py. Now, this is what the sketch looks like, or excuse me, looks like. So basically here, they just list their directories. They import all the necessary drivers for example, right here, ePaper display, 2 inch 13 v3, and import pillow to draw shapes and images. And then right here, they just have a try exception. So you can see one of the exceptions is a keyboard interrupt all the way at the bottom right here. And right here in the first part, they basically just draw a bunch of rectangles uh, and circles and ellipses and polygons and whatnot. But in the second part, they actually read your uh, image file. And so if you want to display your own custom image, you would put your image in the picture directory and then you would just call the image right here. So I have an example image right here. It's named mogi.bmp. It does have to be a BMP file and I'll show you how to make that later on. So what you do is you uh, once you've edited this out, let's just head back in there. Uh, just to edit, you just hit delete, delete, you know, and then you add it in just like that. Uh, we hit control X save the modified buffer yes we do and you just hit enter so now we're going to run it by doing python 3 epaper display 2 inch 13 version 3 and you will see the display starts to refresh and then it displays those images that we were talking about the rectangles the circles the squares and then it displays our custom image now you just do a keyboard interrupt Control c and there we go, the image is now in the display. Now, I have written my own uh, test script here. If you don't want to basically see those uh, squares and circles every uh, on boot up. And what that looks like is we do sudo nano test script dot py. So this is a script I wrote. I basically just listed my directories, uh, imported the drivers and imported pillow. Uh, and now I named the display, I initialized it, I cleared it, and then here I gave a name to the image, and this is the image name right here. So you would just, again, delete and, uh, this name here, and you would put whatever file you, you want to put on there. Then we just call it ePaper display, dot display, and then we exit. So control X, yes, and then we do python3 testscript.py. And you can see the display refreshes, it clears, and then it displays your own custom image on there. So as far as the software side to, you know, get your image on there, that is how you go about it. Uh, now, to make your image, you know, compatible with the code, uh, that is a whole nother topic. And I am going to cover that right now. All right, everyone, welcome to my desktop. Now, let's say that you want to get your own custom image on the ePaper display. That's what you're here to do. So the first thing that you need is obviously your own image. 
And how you do that is uh, you just go to images.google.com and in the search bar, you can see everything I've typed in because uh, this is all I've been doing for the last uh, week or so. Uh, basically, you just type in whatever you like. So initial D, Astro Lost in Space, Star Wars, S2K, RX-7, you know, big weeb, big man of culture. You type whatever you like and then afterwards you type monochrome because you want a black and white image. So I type initial D and then you just scroll down and basically find an image that you like. Uh, try and find an image that doesn't have a lot of grayscale, such as this one. This one has a lot of black and a lot of white and it has like a whole spectrum of gray. Uh, this isn't going to show up very well in the e-paper display because the e-paper display only displays black and white. But, you know, if it has a little bit of grayscale like this one, this is good. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to save this image. It's going to bring up the prompt and I'm going to save it into a USB drive. So I'm going to just uh, say that that's the boy talking to me. Save. And there you go. You have your own image. But now you need to process it in order to um, actually use it on the e-paper display. So we're going to open up Inkscape. Uh, there we go. Middle mouse button to zoom in. And you hold middle mouse to pan around. So we get a rectangle and we draw a rectangle and we now select that rectangle and we want to change this to pixels. Now our canvas size, if you remember from the previous video, was 122 pixels by 250 pixels. So in here I'm going to type 122 by 250. And that is our canvas size. So we can move this around um, like so. Uh, it's probably good to lock it in. Yeah. Now when you first do this and you draw a rectangle, it, it's going to have some fill. So you just come over to here to fill. You hit no fill, stroke. I made mine red so you could see it more. Uh, but, you know, I'm leave it right there. And then that's the width. You know, that's fine. That's our rectangle right there. So now we need to import that image that we just saved. So file, import, and I think it was this PC, this, this, and there's the boy Takami. Now we take the boy Takami next to that rectangle. We bring this rectangle all the way up by clicking this button up here. Then we take the boy Takami and we shrink him down. And now you basically start to see the picture. The goal is to basically get as much of the image into the canvas that you want um, because those pixels are basically your real state and you want to maximize the amount of pixels on the screen with the image that you want. So I think I got it pretty centered up right there. Uh, I think that's good enough. I'm going to come and highlight all of it. I'm going to go to file. That, uh, no, object, clip, set. Now that we're done there, and now we have our image, I'm going to go to File, Export PNG Image, Export As, and uh, then on the USB, and I'm going to name this Takami Clip because we have clipped that image. Hit Save, and then you're going to wait for that directory to show up here. Uh, there we go directory is there and then you hit export now that image is exported and you do want to make sure that you have the correct dimensions here so 122 by 250 if not you can just change them and it'll fix that and now what we want to do is want to head into Microsoft Paint to actually make it a BMP hit open we go from the USB raw the clip file save as BMP and here you hit the drop down menu and you want to save it as a 24 bit bitmap. Uh, hit that and you probably want to give it another name, BMP. Hit save. It's going to ask you any transparency will be lost. You just hit yeah, whatever. And here is where we get into the part of the video uh, where it references the previous video 
when they were talking about image to LCD. So you go to, uh, I have image to LCD already downloaded in my downloads, image to LCD, image to LCD, there's a software. So we're gonna use this software here uh, in order to create that, in order to get that BMP file that we created from paint into a BMP that the ePaper display can use. So we hit open, uh, we go to the USB, then we go to the raw images, and then we select a BMP file, and we just wait, and there it is. And then you take this slider, and you wanna play around with the slider until you can basically get as much detail as you can on there without it, you know, going completely black or completely white, but I think, Mm, I think that right there is probably the best it's going to get. So we're going to hit save. Uh, hit the and I'm going to just go into EPD image BMP. Uh, then we're going to put Takami. Make sure you save it something simple because if you save it like a whole encryption key, uh, you're not going to remember it when you put it into your script. So save it something simple you can remember. I'm going to just call it talk to me and hit save. And now we're done. You have our image. And so now we are going to go to the part where we load that image into the library and we uh, put it in our script and then we can get it into the e-paper display. All right, everyone. So at this point in the video, I took the USB flash drive out and I plugged it into my Raspberry Pi. It didn't want to recognize it. However, uh, while editing that video, that footage was lost, so there's a little bit of discontinuity, and uh, I apologize for that. Alright everyone, sorry for that uh, little hiccup there. Um, basically, the problem ended up being that this is a USB 2.0 port, and this is a USB 3.0 flash drive. So, we're just going to take this out, and we're going to use this 2.0 flash drive here. Uh, this is uh, a Raspberry Pi Model A, but if you have a Model 3 um, or a Model 4, yeah, no, my, excuse me, a Model 4, uh, you could use a 3.0. So we're just going to mount this uh, flash drive like that. Then we're going to head back into the terminal, and we're going to do the same thing, sudo fdisk-l to basically list. And then you can see right there we have a disk uh, slash dev slash sda. So we're going to clear that, then we're going to do sudo mount slash dev slash sda slash mount slash usb. Now the usb has been mounted and now we're basically going to go into that directory of the usb. So uh, for me, uh, I'm going to type in the folder that's on this flash drive. I remember, if I remember correctly, on the previous flash drive, it was... Uh, EPD image uh, BMP um, but and this one is just EPD underscore BMP so we enter there and then we hit list just to see what's on there and you can see uh, there you go there's all the images that I have been playing around with so uh, we're gonna want to copy uh, one image uh, the one presumably that you made into the pictures directory of the library that we installed for the ePaper display. So what I mean by that is we're just going to type in CP for copy. Uh, then you're going to get the picture, uh, which is Takami, right? So Takami. Uh, and then you're going to specify that directory in which uh, the ePaper example lives. So for me, it's projects, ePaper, ePaper, uh, Raspberry Pi, and then Python and pictures. So that right there, oh, permission denied. That's because we need to do super user do. So we're going to head into here, sudo, and then it'll let us do it. So now we're going to change directory. So cd projects, e paper, e paper, Raspberry Pi, Python, examples. Actually, let's do uh, pictures just so you can see it's in there. Oh, well, uh, 
it's going to be a lot, so probably not. <laughs> so we're just going to go one directory above, and uh, we're going to hope it's there. Uh, so now we're just going to go into the examples folder, and then you are going to want to basically edit one of those sketches, either the example sketch or the one that presumably you wrote or the one that you made yourself. So, or, you know, the, the one you copied from GitHub, but, you know, that's okay. So, we're going to go into uh, sudo nano test script. Uh, this is the one I wrote. And we're going to change this into takmi. Control X, yes, enter. And then we're going to run it. Python 3, test script.py. And we're going to hit enter. And you'll see the display clear. And there we go. There is the boy Takumi on the e-paper display with his Toyota AE86. Uh, and that's that's basically it. That's the end. Uh, if you got this far, congratulations. You made it. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.